If you grew up in the 80s like I did, then you'll know what I'm talking about. As you were flipping through the stations, you'll come across a PBS channel. First, you'll think, wow, there's this guy with a beautiful perm. And I did say perm. That would grab your attention. He had such a calming, soothing voice that would captivate you. Just a half hour of Bob Ross. You feel you can do anything. He made it so easy. Today's adventure is going to take us to Muncie, Indiana, to the one and only Bob Ross experience. We're going to walk the grounds. We're going to see the studio that all the magic had happened. Bob Ross was part of your life, and you loved the joy of painting. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you. here in Muncie, Indiana, and we're here at the Minna Trista, um, kind of an arts complex here. And we're here at the Bob Ross studio. This is where Bob Ross did his famous paintings that we all love, that I watched as a kid. Wow, we're gonna go in and check this out. This is gonna be awesome. Um, back in the 80s was the station of WIPD, Lenzie's local PBS station. And during that time, Bob came here and filmed seasons 2 through 15 of The Joy of Painting right here in this house, right here in this room. Oh, wow. This is a, an original Bob Ross painting. Wow. Just think, Bob Ross painted that himself. Looking at this in, in person is... Really cool. Yeah, there's the there's the pretty little trees and the mountaintop. Yeah, when you were a kid in the 80s, that's the way you would watch TV in the living room. That is, oh wow, another original Bob Ross painting. That's that's cool. <laughs> Dawn, don't you feel like you're sitting in mom's living room? <laughs> this looks like mom's living room. In fact, I think my mom had that chair. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to beat the devil out of the brushes. That's really cool. That is cool. It's like interactive because yeah. you can sit here and there's Bob. He's doing one of his paintings. And I'm going to sit here and attempt to try to be Bob, which for me never turned out. <laughs> it just didn't. It didn't at all. Happy little trees. The happy little trees. Yeah. That's the strokes of heavy You gotta remember, you gotta beat the devil out of them brushes. <laughs> now I'm adding leaves. Up leaves. Blue and skies. <laughs> and you know, the crazy thing is, you would have, you would have painted on one of these little TV trays, you know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and he is heavily merchandise these days. You have a Bob Ross a cheetah pet. Everybody had some VHS in the 80s laying around, right? Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel. He wrote a book. Oh, he did write a book. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, he's heavily merchandised these days. Merchandised. Did Bob watch the Goonies? Mm -hmm. I would have watched I, mean, I watched the Goonies. I guess Bob would have watched the Goonies. You think he liked it, Chris? I bet he did. I bet you he I did. Love I love it. And the one thing Bob did like his little critters. Just think, some of these uh, little critters' ancestors might be running around out here somewhere. You can do anything that you believe you can do. And I know you can do this. I love that. I love how the sun kind of like just, you know, kind of spreads out over the mountains there. Reminds me of a Tennessee um, frosty morning. You have a can of Coke, sit back, watch Bob. Oh, he's even on the on the TV Time magazine. Oh, the magic of oil painting, two dollars and fifty cents. 
that's that's cool in this little room this is where the magic happened in just this little room in this house this is where joy of painting happened oh wow could you imagine Bob right here himself right here painted those paintings that we all yeah and these cameras pick that up so that millions of folks can watch his painting the wow that's that is cool and these are his real brushes right here he he actually used those and then here's his famous <laughs> you gotta beat the devil out of them brushes and that's that's where he did the beating wow yeah he even used a, a great big old cinder block to to hold it down so it didn't fall over during during taping <laughs> yeah wow and then over here you got the original bob ross artifacts so that's his um that's where he put his paints and he mix them right on right on there that is that's cool you got some paintings up the side of the wall here so this is where he did did it it's kind of like a living room of, of his house Some of Bob's uh, signature colors there. Yeah. And a lot of times after the show, from what I was always told, they would just throw them in a box, you know. And um, I think they made, what, three of each painting. They made one before he did the show, the one of the show, and then one after the show. So there's actually three. Like you can see here, it's probably what... So that, that would be the one he did before the show. And then this is the one he was doing of the show. So he would look over his shoulder and kind of get an ideal of what he was doing during filming. Of course, they changed a little bit because you notice here it's just kind of like a rough. And here he went into the detail of putting like maybe the sun behind the clouds there. Tell you what, that was so much fun. Let's do another. Let's do another. Start right here the same. So this is what it would look like to be a camera operator here at the studio during the uh, during the filming. That's what it would have been like. And here's another one of his original artwork here. This is crazy to think, old Bob. He stood right here, and this is this is where it happened, uh, in this house in, in in Indiana of all places, you know, and that's where they they say this is where the magic happened, right? Right here, oh, and it's not that big. It's technically a living room of a house, is what this is, isn't it, Chris? Yes, it's just a living. Yeah. I mean, it's like anybody else's room. It's kind of like this, the studio, like Yankee and Cell Studios. You know, just it's just a room yeah. inside a house. It does look different on the, on the screen than it does in person when I saw it in person. The one thing that struck me, though, was the, the, the black backdrop. That was iconic yeah. to, to, to the series. You always had yes. that, that deep, dark backdrop. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's, really this is fun. Exciting. it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Hollowed grounds is what you call this, right? It is, you know? absolutely. Yeah. So I was talking earlier, I said, why did we watch Bob Ross as young? Because we were young. We were like little kids. Yeah. Well, because cartoons were usually cut off around, what, about 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning because we had to go to school. Yeah. And we were probably the ones that skipped school, right? <laughs> and cartoons... <laughs> probably more than I should have. <laughs> and... Uh, 
And cartoons didn't come back on until 3 o'clock, so guess what was playing? Yeah. The joy of, of painting. Yes. So we'd watch that, right? Yeah. So here's some photos of, of Bob here in the studio doing what he, he did, painting all them pretty trees and, and mountains and that. That's... It's really cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Happy birthday, Bob. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got his painter's uh, suit on. And here's for the 20th series of Joy of Painting. Well, yeah. that's uh, giving back to to Muncie. Oh, here he is, Habitat for Humanity. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that he had a lot to do with Habitat. That's that's really cool. He pretty much done done a little bit of everything. That's the that's the uh, picture we all know of him right there. <laughs> there he is. He's like, I think he's like, I don't know if he's in a is he is he in a trash can? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's sitting in some bins in his home in Florida. That's uh, silly Bob. I guess he had a little little humorous side. He was always a jokester. Yeah. Life's too short. You know, that is that is really cool. All the folks that were on the crew crew. Wow, what do you what do you think? It's really neat. I wanna show you this. The unique scent of paint thinner mixed with cigarette smoke announced that Bob was in town for the week of filming. <laughs> yeah, Bob smoked cigarettes. He was I a, didn't know that. Yeah, he, He's a marble dude. Yeah, he 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 smoked cigarettes. He um, like this pick. He did. Oh yeah, there's his. <laughs> there's his pick. And before each show, Bob cleared his sinuses with a with a big big vapor rub, ensuring that smooth velvety voice. He also kept his hair pick in his back pocket to flip out his perm. So that was a permy. Yeah, of course. Like yeah, he he <laughs> he looked good in a perm though. Yeah. So I'm guessing he uh, he drove a Datsun. This is Bob Ross's famous pick. And now it will become famous with Chris. Just think. Does it work? I don't know, but you you share something now. I know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of splattering going on. Cheese. So I'm guessing they had to block the light coming in from this window oh, with just some paper and some some tape. The crazy thing is that just behind his easel was the hot and cold air return. They turned the heat off and asked everybody to stop walking around during the filming so you couldn't hear the forest creak or the air kick on or the heat kick on. Um, I'm trying to put on Bob's shirt. Obviously, he was a lot smaller than I am. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna mess up his shirt, you know. We skipped so many, so many days of school to watch Bob Ross. We're gonna stay here a little bit. We're gonna learn something today. I love this place. It says, let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's get crazy, huh? That is that is awesome. So, uh, 
I don't know how to paint though. That's one thing I don't know. I'm not very creative when it comes to like painting or drawing or anything like that. So, but looks like they have a little paint uh, studio here and they got aprons for you to wear. And oh my gosh. Yeah, you can take a workshop. You can take a workshop? Yeah. One of the things I'll say about Bob is he had great words of wisdom and all of them are displayed here. And it's so true. If you have a vision in your mind, start painting. Here's one of his original paintings, and it's four different mountaintops, kind of showing the different styles you can do. And it's in a place where you can learn how to paint. So yeah, these paintings in this room are different types of styles of cloud and, and weather formats. And then over here, he, he's got another painting, and these are originals. He's, he painted these to show people how to to do certain trees and that's another il illustration on how to do a to do a tree and you see it's a it's an original artifact and then over here which is one of my favorite is the different types of waterfalls and cascading water features and I love this one. Kind of reminds me of the Great Smoky Mountains when the trees shadow onto like the lake or a stream. That is really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that Bob is like, like he come up these steps and he was a jokester. So he's yes. probably playing pranks on, kind, so. kind of like you, a little jokester, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. yeah. Did you use Bob's restroom? Yes, I did. It's a nice bathroom. You should go in there. It's really <laughs> nice in there. It's huge. I like the little blue tiling along the walls. Um, yeah, do you think Bob used that one? I would like think he did at one time or another. <laughs> so we're at the top, and this is his gallery. This is where his actual work is at. You'll notice a lot of these from the TV series. Um, this one's from series two. Episode 2 uh, completed during filming. So this would have been one of the actual filming This would have been on TV and I don't recall this uh, you know, but you can see his his signature there And these are the these are the real deal. You can see they have it You know around the edges You know it even says like TV you can see there it says TV number two and uh, in the series. Wow. And for some reason, if I'm not mistaken, I remember the episode where he did this one called Shades of Grey. It was done in 1983. Um, series two, episode four. It was completed during, during filming. Oh. You like that? It's beautiful. It is. The shades of gray is just amazing. Yeah, I think I remember him painting that because I remember the little cabin. It reminds me a little bit of like the Smokies. I mean, the mountains are not as ridge. Maybe a little bit like um, chimney tops, but but all in all. And I like how the paintings are out for you to get real close to. You can't touch these, obviously. But I mean, they're, it's right there. I mean, you know, not behind any glass or, or anything. That is cool. So this one here is called the Black River. Uh, it was completed during filming. So this is one of the ones he would have done for TV. And uh, I love the purples. And you gotta see these in real life. They're more, it's so detailed but he made it look so easy. And it was filmed in 1983 also. Oh. Wow, what do you think, Don? Oh. So this one's called The Black Waterfall. Uh, this was completed during filming, so this would have been the one he filmed with. Uh, series two, episode 11. 
You know what? We're going to have to go back and pop up some of these old episodes and watch him making these. Now, this one here is called Lazy River. Um, this was on Series 2, Episode 10. This was completed during the filming. And I just love this, you know, the... Uh, it's called the Lazy River. Yeah, the Lazy River. Oh, yeah. And Brown Mountain here, that was completed yeah, during filming. Series 2, Episode 7. You can see this one here has got a little bit of cracking because he went real heavy with the paint, but you know, he he just, that's, that's cool. You try to get that depth in it. Wow. Yeah. Painting should always be fun. Should make you happy. And look at this one. This one here is called Reflections. And this is your favorite, right, Dawn? Mm -hmm. That yeah. one's gorgeous. You can see the mountains and reflecting in the water and the trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was uh, completed during filming. It's series two, episode eight. Huh. You know, this camera is not picking it up. No, it, this is something you guys got to come and see it for yourself. In yeah, person. you should. It's fifteen dollars a person, and it that money goes to help preserve this, and, and it's definitely worth worth coming uh, all the way here. It, it was awesome. It was. So this one here is called Final Grace, uh, Series 2, Episode 13. It's also um, completed during filming. And for some reason, this one looks familiar too. Like maybe I have seen the episode of this one. But what really stands out to me is that iconic signature. I mean, no doubt that that's his, his signature there. Black, white, seascape. That was also completed during filming episode, series two, episode nine. Well, to be honest, I'm a nature freak. I love to walk through the woods and talk to the animals. Don't tell anybody that. I even talk to trees at times. But you need to understand nature to appreciate the great, great things that have been created. We spend so much of our life walking around, looking, but never, never, never seeing. And if painting teaches you nothing else, it'll teach you to see nature, to appreciate some of the beauty that's around us every day that we take for granted. In the woods and, and study trees, talk to trees, whatever it takes. A tree needs to be your friend if you're gonna paint him. Probably out in your yard, you have some beautiful trees that you can look at. Study what happens in the tree. What makes each one an individual. Study nature. I really, I really have some hang-ups about nature being destroyed. I would like to see nature remain the way it is. I would like for my son, his grandchildren maybe, when he goes back to Alaska, to be able to see a real moose. Not just pictures of one. So appreciate what we have. You know, one of the things I noticed is that our TVs back then wasn't, they weren't that good. So these paintings in real life are super colorful. And I'm like, I know. wow, these are like better than TV. But I remember 1983, the TVs were, were really horrible. So he was, a, he, it was, he was really good. <laughs> it was said that Bob would come out here on the patio and he would, this is where he'd meet his little his little furry friends, you know, the squirrels. Oh. And yeah, a lot of these squirrels still run around like the ancestors of the squirrels. I'm gonna see if I can find, oh, there's, there's one of his fuzzy friends right there. That's a rabbit. Yeah. Did you know Bob? Yeah, he said there was a lot of, a lot of wildlife and it gave him inspiration to do his paintings out here. Oh, wow. So where did the real magic happen? It happened out here with a pack of Marlboros and the wildlife, the gardens, the, yeah, 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 that's cool. So this is the back side of the studio and this corner is where he paint, painted the, his paintings. This is where he would get a lot of his inspiration it was back here in these gardens. Very nice back here, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh well, there's there's koi over here. Yeah. Well, these are beautiful koi. I think we need to get a little inspiration, Chris. We need to sit out here yes. like Bob would, and he'd be like, I think so. <sighs> I think it's out. he'd be like, I could see how he got the happy little trees from sitting out here, and yes. you know, I guess that would be called a a peeping tom hole. <laughs> you, you get it? Yeah. I Peeping Tom. So now we're here in the gift shop. They got some really cool uh, gifts to be had. I love these uh, bumper stickers. But I really like is they have pins. Yes, I'm gonna get one for for the hat. Bob Ross experience. That's cool. But all kinds of really cool merch. They even have a, a face mask. Yeah. Yeah. Be like Bob. Humble, kind, and inspiring. There's Bob being a, a jokester. He has a canoe <laughs> in the uh, in the road there. It looks like he, he's dreaming of doing a little little fishing. Yeah. I also have some happy little accidents. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today here in Indiana, here where Bob painted all them, them paintings we love. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.